All right. Hello, guys, um, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much. This is the second video I filmed in one day, and I feel slightly tired. Um, it is not light outside anymore. It was earlier. Um, and the birds are put to bed. Everything's kind of quiet. Um, so today's topic is self-care for when you just can't. You can't get out of bed very often, when you don't feel like moving, when you're not motivated to do anything. You know, the types of stuff people don't really talk about, you know, um, when you can't take a shower, or you don't have the motivation to brush your teeth, uh, or change your bed sheets, those types of things. Um, and I do have notes. I'm not going to be reading directly off of here, uh, but I'm probably going to glance down a couple of times. Okay. Um, yeah, so, so I want to say that this is for when you're temporarily unable to function you should definitely take a full shower at least once a week even if you don't want to because sometimes self-care is doing what you feel like you can't do um, but this is for those days you know you've had one or two days where you've kind of felt like okay well you know I can't really take a shower or I haven't taken a shower and at this point you're like okay <laughs> I need some form of clean in my life. Um, so that's kind of what uh, this is. Um, so we're going to go on hygiene first, and then I'm going to go over some self-care tips for when you are feeling a little bit better. Um, so dry shampoo. Dry shampoo does wonders for your hair. Never underestimate that $3 bottle of dry shampoo. You spray it on your hair, you, you rub it in a little bit, and it takes that gl greasy gloss away and makes you feel a little bit better. Uh, to go along with that, if you don't feel like that's for you, if you don't like aerosol, um, there is baby powder. You, you put a little, like I'm talking just a little bit, a little bit on your hair, you rub, you rub that through, or your hand, you rub that through your hair, the grease will be gone. Um, the baby power absorbs all of that. So, you know, if you have to go out in public or you, you're feeling just awful, um, put some baby, baby powder in your hair. And if you are unable to take a full shower, uh, baby wipes do work wonders. Um, you could also go with like face towelettes or something if baby wipes don't smell good for you. Um, just any sort of wet wipe that do isn't like antibacterial, like uh, bleach wipes or whatever, uh, Windex wipes. Uh, you definitely want like skin safe wipes um, for sensitive skin. Um, and you just wipe that all over and try and get as much of that first layer of dirt off as you can. Uh, same with a wet, warm washcloth. Same type of deal. I know some people um, don't really like the baby wipes. Maybe the smell, maybe whatever. Uh, get, get a nice, warm washcloth. Maybe put some essential oils on there and just wipe yourself down, make yourself feel a little bit better. Um, you'll feel at least refreshed. Splash your face with some water. Um, and body spray. If you're unable to take a shower and you're smelling kind of rank and the baby wipes didn't take care of that or the washcloth or whatever, and you still have just a tiny bit of whatever, uh, go ahead and get some like Axe body spray or something that smells nice for you. Um, I'm gonna tell you the correct way to, to use the product because in high school we we were so like 
overwhelmed with the boys just spraying that all over. Spray it in up into the air, or spray it twice. So, so the first one, spray it up into the air, walk into the mist, and and let it let it go over your body. Let it have like a nice smell. Uh, the other one is just one quick spray across your chest. Don't do any more than that. It's overwhelming. It'll probably make you sneeze. Probably won't make you feel very good either. Okay, if you can't brush your teeth, and teeth, you know, are important, you, you don't want cavities, if, it, likely chances are you don't want to go to the dentist, especially right now in the climate we're in. Do I have to say more? <laughs> um, so, uh, the tricks that we have found is take a washcloth. If, if, you, if you can't do, like, um, toothpaste and a toothbrush, that feeling, whatever, uh, take a washcloth, um, get it a little bit damp so it doesn't have that weird texture on it, and rub it across your teeth, it'll get that plaque off and it'll do for the day. Uh, mouthwash, if your mouth smells bad, and you know, you just gotta get that bacteria out of your mouth anyway. Um, you know, swish that through, give it at least 30 sec 20 to 30 seconds. I know most bottles say 60 to 120 seconds, so that would be like one to two minutes, I think. I don't know, I haven't read a bottle of mouthwash. Somebody get their bottle of mouthwash out and read that little part where it says how long you're supposed to do it for. Uh, um, but 20 to 30 seconds, um, if that's all you can really handle. Uh, also, uh, fluoride toothpaste, it doesn't hurt your mouth, um, so that's pretty nice. Um, if all else fails, just use your fingernail. Just wipe, wipe that across your teeth and, and uh, get a paper towel and wipe, wipe the plaque off your, your fingernail. Like, Try to do what you can. <laughs> um, and then the single-use floss sticks, like that big, they're like, you know, they have that string of floss there and the pick on the end of them. Use those, get them between your teeth. Again, you don't want cavities. It's the simplest thing you could do. Just run that through your teeth, or if you can't floss your teeth, you have the ones with the pick on the end, you know, try to get in between your teeth. Um, so, bedding. I know that we've all been here. You get out of bed, you feel like you just can't change that bed sheet. There is no way that's going to be happening. You're, it, you know, it's just, it's just awful. And you have crumbs all over your bed, and you're like, what am I going to do? My bed stinks. You know, I, I, I got to do something. This is the bare minimum, I, and it does take effort to do this. And it would be nicer just to lay in the bed, but sometimes you gotta force yourself to do something to make yourself more comfortable. Self care is not always easy. <laughs> um, so go ahead and take everything off your bed besides your sheets. Why, like, swipe off your sheets, grab a vacuum, vacuum your sheets if, if you're able to do that. Get those crumbs off of there. If you're able to, try replacing your sheets. Um, but if not, just go ahead and wipe off those sheets, get the crumbs off. Um, either grab a new blanket or flip your blanket over and just let yourself have a, you know, the, the cleaner side of the blanket, at least for one night until you're able to grab a new one. Um, flip your pillow over, put everything back on your bed that you need to, give yourself that clean side of the pillow, and uh, get some clean clothes and put them on. If you're up and doing this already, likely chances are you got some clothes nearby, you're, you're probably smelling a little iffy, um, just grab, grab some, some clean clothes, throw them on, and climb back in bed. If that's all you're going to be able to do for the day, then, you know, absolutely do what you can. There are some days that we can't even do any of this, and we just lay in bed, and we're just like, the world sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, let's see. Um, 
So if you're having trouble getting out of bed, you're not able to move around very much, um, either you're bedridden or you have chronic fatigue or you just don't feel like getting out of bed. Um, when you're going to the restroom, everyone has to go throughout the day. Uh, when you're going to the restroom, make sure you try to stretch. It, even if it's just walking, lift your arms up above your head, stretch out your back, you know, wiggle your body side to side, do a little bit of this, stretch your, stretch your calves out as you're walking, walk on your toes, um, whatever it is, just do lunges to the bathroom. <laughs> You know, you're getting up anyway. You try, try to treat your body just a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to be sore. Um, if you're able to, and I know, like, for us, it's, it's a little bit harder. Our room is on the bottom floor. Kitchen is on the middle floor. Um, but, you know, there, there's a lot of times your bedroom's going to be on the same floor as the kitchen. Make a quick sweep to the kitchen. Grab yourself some bread. Put some butter on there. And, and at least you have somewhat of a meal. Do not starve yourself, please. <laughs> um, I know that we go to cup of noodle because even though you're not supposed to microwave them, you know, you throw water in there, pop it in for a minute and a half, and there you go. Um, and, and if you are gonna have a day or two of not being able to move around very much, you're in, you know yourself enough to know that you're in that state, grab some snacks, bring them to your room, grab a trash bag, put it by your bed, and eat your snacks in your bed. Do what you can, you know, this, this is worst case scenario stuff, or medium case scenario stuff, like, try, try, try your hardest to, to, Get your body sustenance. Get yourself some water. Make sure you're not dehydrated. <laughs> and this is just a little letter for those of you who, who do have these issues. You're not able to get out of bed. You're not able to take a shower. You, you have troubles eating or grabbing some water or whatever. This is, this is just like a little paragraph for you. Don't be ashamed if you can't do the maximum. Just do what you can until you're able to get a full shower, a full meal, brush your teeth, and do the laundry. Um, you know, th those are the tips that I have you. If you have, I have for you. If you have any more, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'm sure people will love to hear what you have. Um, and then we have self-care. Uh, this is for when you're able to move around a little bit more and you're feeling a little bit more perky and, and whatnot. Um, and some of them you can actually do while you're in bed. So um, it just kind of depends on what one. But feel free to take these and uh, do what you will with them. Uh, take a walk. Now this doesn't have to be outside. I feel like there's a lot of emphasis on go outside, get some fresh air. Yes, you, you do want to do that. That is something you really want to do. But bare minimum, walk around your house for five, ten minutes. Give your give your legs some some time to stretch. Do some lunges. You know, do what you can. Write an affirmation or several. These are really good to look at when, when you're not feeling so great. Makes you feel a little better about yourself. Practice grounding. This is something you can do in your bed along with the last one. Grounding yourself. We're going to have actually a video in the next week on it. Uh, Kinder is going to do a grounding video with us. Um, but just if you have your grounding tools, look up some grounding tools on YouTube. They're out there. You know, practice your grounding while you're you're stuck in bed. You know, feel feel that that is also self love. You know, uh, we've talked about this in a previous video. I'll link down below. Um, grounding the importance of grounding while you're not in a traumatic state is so it's kind of like a fire drill. You do it so often that when you are in that emergency situation you go ahead and are able 
to have those tools available and you're not, you might be panicking, but you know what to do, if that makes sense. Drink water. <laughs> That's probably gonna be in there like three times. Drink water. Everyone's dehydrated. Yes, even you. <laughs> go, <laughs> go drink some water. Stretch. Stretching, it actually gives you a boost of serotonin. So even if you're feeling a little bit down, the activation of your muscles can make you feel a little bit better, even if it's not a lot. Take a moment to yourself. If you're busy and you're doing a lot of stuff and you just feel like, oh my God, what am I doing? Take a second, put yourself in the bathroom, in your room, if you're out in public, find a quiet spot and just breathe. Take a second to allow yourself to be by yourself and just, just know that it's gonna be all right and you're gonna get through the day and just take that moment for yourself to recollect. Ask someone to sit with you in silence. Now, to some people this might be awkward. Some people don't enjoy silence when there's another person in the room. Um, but there are some people, you know, us included, that if you're with somebody and you don't feel like talking, you're feeling guilty, whatever, ask them to sit in silence with you because you're comfortable around them and you want to continue to be comfortable but you don't feel like talking. So, hey man, can, can we sit in silence for a little bit? Maybe watch a movie, read a book, you know, whatever. Um, just having that person with you can be comforting. Uh, brush your hair. It feels good. And some, some things are super simple like that. Uh, get a happy light. I think they're like 20 bucks. Sometimes you can get them for cheaper. Uh, sometimes they're more expensive. It depends on where you're getting them. I think we got ours on Facebook Marketplace for twenty dollars. I know they sell them for like twenty-four on Amazon. Get yourself a happy light. It uh, stimu stimulates a part in your brain uh, that registers the sun and gives yourself a boost of serotonin and regulates your mood. There's lots of health benefits to them. Um, take a look at you know, how you're supposed to use them before you actually use them. Because uh, they're supposed to go like in your periphery where you can't see it, I can't see my hand. And it's a really bright light. Um, and, you know, just, just make sure that's something that's for you before you get it and before you use it. Uh, call a friend. If you're feeling lonely and you know it, call a friend. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Email your therapist, take deep breaths. Some people can't take deep breaths and that's okay, but if you can, take some deep breaths, tell yourself it's gonna be all right. Uh, take a shower. Again, if you can't take a shower, refer to the tips before. Go ahead and take a shower, get your mind off of it, uh, play some loud music on your phone, whatever, whatever works for you. Um, eat something. Read a book. Turn off your phone. Turn off your phone. It's self-care not to look at social media, not to be watching YouTube all the time. Maybe pick up a book, pick up a pen and pencil, write, journal, draw, go outside, enjoy some fresh air. Um, turn off your phone. Maybe, maybe it's just for five minutes. Maybe it's for 20 minutes. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I know some people, myself included, really use the phone as a coping mechanism, but sometimes social media can be toxic. Get off your phone, go do something else for a little bit, give your brain a break. It's not healthy to stare at a screen all day, even though we all do it because we're in quarantine and we're mentally, what was the word? Um, Yeah, mentally ill. I mean, we have mental illnesses um, and mentally fatigued and 
ticked off at the world and you need a break. Um, write a poem, journal. Again, we're going to have a video on journaling. I think, yeah, that's our next video that we're going to be doing. It's a video on journaling. We're actually going to feature Evangelina Scobb's journal um, notebook thing. Here, let me show you, actually. We're going to show you how to set up a couple of different journals along with ones that are already set up for you. This one is really nice. It's a mental health planner. Um, I like it because all the days are blank. And the months are also blank. So if you mix, miss a week or miss a month, it doesn't matter. Um, I, I really like it. We haven't started using it because we're going to set it up during our uh, journaling video. Um, so keep an eye out for that, but uh, yeah. Um, and step outside. You know, that that's the one thing everyone's like, oh, but outside doesn't help. Getting some fresh air, breathing in, you know, just, just some air that isn't stagnant inside your house, especially since we've all been inside for months now. Get yourself some fresh air. And um, yeah, if you have any self-care tips, self-help, self, uh, if you have any tips, leave them in the um, comments below. I'm sure people would love to hear what you got for them. Um, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. And thank you to our patrons who actually voted on the videos that we'll be doing throughout this week. We have seven. There's not seven currently in this book. There's six. Uh, but we have seven for the week. And we're going to be posting more often now. Um, we've kind of come off of vacation. And we are uh, starting the year off very strong. So. Thank you to our patrons who voted on what videos we were going to do for this week. And uh, thank you guys for subscribing to our channel. If you can't be a patron, that's totally fine. Um, subscribing and watching our videos, you know, that helps us too. So thank you all for watching. Um, have a good night, afternoon, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.